let's look at another example for assignment problem. This assignment problem deals with minimization problems. So in this problem, we have five mechanics and five machines. We have to assign each mechanic to each machine. So this is the data given. Since it is a minimization problem, we can directly go with the row reduction. For the row reduction, we have to find the smallest value in each row. So in the first row, the smallest value will be 15. In the second row, it is 13. Third row, it is 12. Fourth row, it is 14. And fifth row, it is 11. We have to subtract all the values. I mean, the, in the first row, all the values with the 15. So it will be 5, 0, 10, 10, and 14. And in the second row, we have to subtract the second row value with the minimum value that is 13. So it will be 0, 6, 17, 0, and 6. Similarly, for all the other three rows. So it will be 8, 5, 2, 0, 3. And in the fourth row, it is 0, 6, 6, 2, 10. Fifth row, it is 3, 5, 8, 0, and 11. After the row reduction, we follow with the column reduction. In the column reduction, we have to find the smallest value in each column. In the first column, it is 0. Second column, it is also 0. Third column, it will be 2. Fourth column, it is 0. And in the fifth column, it is 3. So subtract the first column value with the minimum value 0. So you will get 5, 0, 8, 0, 3. And the second column will be 0, 6, 5, 6, 5. And third column will be 8, 15. 2 minus 2 will be 0, 4, 6. Fourth column will be 10, 0, 0, 2, 0. And the last column will be 11, 3, 0, 7 and 8. So after the column reduction, we have to proceed with the allocation of zeros. So for the allocation of zero, I'm writing the same tableau column here. It will be 5, 0, 8, 10, 11, 0, 6, 15, 0, 3, 8, 5, 0, 0, 0, 6, 4, 2, 7, 3, 5, 6, 0, 8. Row cell allocation will be done only if there is a single zero in each row if there are more than one zero just ignore that row so in the first row we have only one zero i am allocating to it i am also making sure that that this allocated zero does not intersect with any other allocated zeros which is done priorly in the second row we have two zeros and so i am ignoring it in the third row we have three zeros i am ignoring it also fourth row we have one zero and I can allocate this 0 because in either side of it, I don't have any other allocation 0. So I'm allocating this. And in the fourth row, I'm checking and I have only one 0. And it does not, if I suppose if I allocate it, it does not intersect with any other allocated zeros. So I'm allocating it. Now I go with the column wise. In the first column, I already have an allocated 0, so I just leave it. And in the second column also I have another allocated 0, so I am ignoring it. And in the third column I have one zeros, so I am checking on all the sides. It does not have any other allocated cell, so I am allocating it. And in the fourth row, I mean in the fourth column, it has an allocated 0. Fifth column, I have only one zero. Suppose if I allocate this one, it intersects with this allocated cell, which is done priorly. So I ignore it. So after allocation of cells, I can see that each mechanic is not assigned to each machine. So, one mechanic is still left, that is the second mechanic is still left without any machine. So, I have to proceed further. What should I do is, first, tick all the unassigned rows. Unassigned rows are the rows which does not have any allocation of cells. Second row does not have any allocation, so I am ticking that one. So, if a row is ticked, then I check and then I select the zeros in it. In this ticked row, I have two zeros in it. These two zeros, I have to select the columns in it. So these two zeros, so I have, I'll select these two columns. After selecting of this column, I have to select each column. Now in this column, I will check whether they have an allocated cell. In this column, I have an allocated cell in this row. So I tick this row. In this column, I'll check whether I have an allocated cell. In this column, I have this allocated cell, which is in this row. After doing all this, I have to strike out all the unticked rows. We have two unticked rows here. So I have, I will strike 
the unticked rows and then I will strike the ticked columns so it will be this one and this one so after this I have to find my theta value for selecting the theta value it will be the minimum value which is not being striked here the minimum value is 3 which is not being striked so the theta value will be 3 after selecting the theta value I have to construct a new table in this new table what I will do is this theta will be added with the values which has two intersection a cross like symbol a number which has a cross like symbol will be added with the theta value and and a number